Alright, already another video. <laughs> so, it's the beginning of the month, I just got paid. For some reason I got paid early this month, but not complaining because it's the weekend and I got to go shopping. I went shopping, um, there's like a shopping center a few miles away from my house. Um, I went to Lowe's, TJ Maxx, Target. And I went to Bed Bath & Beyond, but I didn't buy anything from there. I thought I was going to buy a bunch of stuff, and I was, like, secretly hoping that I would find one of those really cool, like... Are you done? Okay, thank you. Um, anyway, uh, I was looking for, like, a Loch Ness Monster or one of the scuba diver or, like, a little octopus, um, like, tea infusers, because I've been wanting to get loose leaf tea and make my tea like loose leaf i don't know where i was going with that um but i've been wanting to get into loose leaf tea for a bit lately is that so sit <coughs> sit oh my god <laughs> this always happens when i start filming are you done and there's a tea gone in nearby so my god what the heck is wrong with her I've been wanting to get into brewing my own loose leaf tea instead of buying the tea bags and there is a tea Ivana in Pittsburgh that I want to go to to buy some tea and I wanted to get one of the little like um what is it a tea steeper I guess is what they're called um and didn't find one I didn't ask anybody where they were either but I looked in like the drink and coffee maker section and I didn't find them so I just left. Um, I think that's all the places I went to though. But anyway, let me go ahead and get into this. I'm clearly already talking a lot. So, we can start with TJ Maxx. Um, the first thing I got was this Black Sheep Series Multifunction Wet and Dry Vacuum. Yeah. And um, this is completely random, but in Pittsburgh, one thing I've learned is that you have to spend quite a bit of money to keep your car clean and the reason why is because of the snow and the salt and the dirt from living in the city and about two weeks ago I spent $15 vacuuming out my car and going through the laser car wash and the next day a snow plow came by my house and covered my car in snow and dirt and salt. <laughs> So I went ahead and bought this. I can't clean the outside of my car, but it's related to car cleaning. That's why I said that whole story. Um, but this is a USB car cleaner, and it's a wet vacuum and a dry vacuum. So you plug it into your USB, or not USB, um, your cigarette lighter, and it can be a dry vacuum. And then, like, if you clean out your, your carpeting or something, like if you spray it down and, like, like scrub it and stuff this will suck up all the water so it's a wet vacuum too and it's really tiny and it was only ten dollars and I thought it was a really good idea because I have Dagmar and Dagmar gets the car dirty a lot um and it's this like green kind of color and this is what it looks like Ta -da! so I thought that was really cool I don't know I thought it was pretty nifty and then see it plugs into your little cigarette outlet and then I guess there's a, there should be a cord in here somewhere. Hold on, let me see. Um, yeah, and then here is the cord. So, I just thought that was such a cool idea. It's basically like a shop vac, but for your car. And especially having a dog and living in such a kind of polluted city. <laughs> um, it was definitely worth it. It's an iHome car mount for your phone, so like this thing stretches and you can stick your phone in there and it, this little black piece is like where it clips into the, um, the heating and air vents and it's actually really sturdy, that's why I got it. I've gone through like five or six of these since I've had my car and this one just seems to be the best quality, the strongest and most sturdy feeling. Um, so yeah, I got that, and it was like eight bucks, and I got one for my mom too, just because, um, she has one of those ones that was like the As Seen on TV product, where it's like, 
the green and black one and it's like an arm that suctions to your like windshield and then like the arm thing comes down and it holds your phone they don't work don't buy them i highly recommend you not to buy them because i've had one she had one and neither one of them works and so anyway next thing that i got once again like i said completely random but this was only three dollars and it's 80 extra large wipes to clean my house and they're multi-purpose disinfecting wipes all right so on to the rest of the things from tj maxx um i bought a can opener this was 12.99 so really freaking expensive <laughs> for a can opener but i thought it was worth it because i've gone through so many can openers i don't know what it is about buying a can opener that works I just decided to go ahead and spend $12.99. It's normally like 20 something and it feels really sturdy. It's like titanium or steel, whatever. Um, and it just felt really nice. And I'm gonna be really upset if this breaks because I just bought it and my other one just broke and I spent $13 on it. So this thing better freaking work and it better last forever. Next thing that I got was a dog thing. Uh, Dagmar really likes these. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so loud. Dagmar really likes these big squeaky balls. I usually get the ones that are like the tennis ball material that are like fuzzy on the outside. Um, but I decided to get her one of these. Yes. The next thing that I got was this, and this is so random, but I was out of salt. And I already have like a salt shaker. So this is a pure Himalayan ancient sea salt bag, and this is 16 ounces. So what is that, like a pound? Is that how much that is? I'm not sure. The other thing that Dagmar got was a thing of dog treats. It's chicken jerky, whatever. Not exciting. So the next thing that I got was a cake stand. And this is not going to be for cake. This is solely for going next to my stove and putting like my salt, my pepper, my utensil container. And then I have a and then I have another cup that has my um, silverware in it because our kitchen doesn't have any drawers. So I have to buy myself wearing a cup on the counter. <laughs> so I'm gonna put all that stuff on, I'm gonna put all that stuff on this next to my stove. And I thought that would be cute. I might put it like on top of the stove, I'm not sure. But it was only $7 on clearance and it was originally 24. So this was on like super, super clearance. So the next thing that I got was this soap dispenser and this is for my kitchen. I have a huge like value size container of dish soap right now and I don't want that on my counter so I got this to put next to my sink and it's cute it's a mason jar so why not I thought it would look nice and I didn't want anything that was a color I wanted something clear so I got this <laughs> and the last two things from TJ Maxx were beauty products um, this one is argan oil skin awakening cleansing oil gently melts away makeup and daily impurities and you're supposed to put some in your hand and then mix it with water and then it creates like a foam cream kind of thing and then you wash your face with it and I just thought it would be nice to try and I'm really into like beauty products and like yeah. skincare and stuff like that so I thought I would try it. Argan Care Advanced Skin Care with Certified Organic Oil of Argan Moisturizing Treatment Supreme Hydrator for Dry Skin. And this was only $3.50, it was on clearance, just like the other thing was, and I actually am going to open it because it had like a security thing on it, which I don't know why it did if it's only $3.50, but I want to see what it looks like. I don't even know how much it was originally because like the clearance sticker is like on top of the regular like price sticker. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's in a little brown jar. There's like a L'Oreal L'Oreal um, face cream that my mom used to use all the time. It was like a supreme, or like extreme hydrator. That's exactly what this smells like. Okay, so finally we're at Target. Um, I got a few things, and once again they were pretty random. But um, oh, and I have Old Navy too. I forgot about that. But anyway, so for Target, I got <laughs> this is so random. Like I don't know why I bought them. Like I could probably find these. I don't know if I could find them this nice, but I could probably find boxes like this somewhere else. But I got these two, like, letter-sized, letter as in, like, the printer size of paper that's called letter, which is, like, the 8.5 by 11, um, boxes, and I've been going through some stuff in my desk, and I have, like, some schoolwork stuff that I want to keep, and so I just got these to put schoolwork stuff into that I don't want to get rid of. And I can also use these for, like, I don't know 
extra chargers or something like that. Um, but I thought they were nice and they were climple. Uh, <laughs> nice, clean, and simple um, to put on my desk. And yeah, Target had some other really cool boxes. The ones that are, um, um, it's like gold along all the edges and they were pretty similar to that but there's one that's like a pink and one that's like a blue. But I wanted something that was like more neutral than that so that's why I got those too and I kind of always like paint them if I want to. Okay so the next thing that I got this is completely random but this is a freaker koozie. The thing about freaker koozies is that it fits every bottle and this can fit on a beer bottle. This can fit on a beer can. This can fit over a water bottle. It can fit on a sippy cup. This thing stretches like to all different kinds of shapes and the reason why I bought this, <laughs> some of you know I went to school in Wilmington, North Carolina for my first year of college. I remember when, this is 2010, 2011, when the Freaker company, I met the people that um, made these and they were just starting this up and it was like not a big company and my boyfriend at the time um, had one of these and I was like where did you get that from and he was like oh I got it from Freaker like they were giving them out for free or something like that and I just thought that was so cool that it's been so many years since then like five years since I first saw this like it's just cool like I don't know the circle of life like I started college in Wilmington and now I'm in Pittsburgh and something from Wilmington is in Pittsburgh I just thought it was really cool I'm about to open it so you can see what it looks like. And like it stretches out, like I said, like it goes on any shape bottle you want. And it's a pug. I think that's a pug. Yeah, it's either a pug or a French bulldog. I can't really tell. Um, but I just thought it was so cool and I liked the color scheme and I don't have anything like this. It's not like I drink alcohol anyway, but it's something that I would like to have in case I have people over and I want something to keep my hand away from my cold drink <laughs> or to insulate my hand from my cold drink so yeah I got that and these are $10 by the way which is a pretty good deal for something that you can use so universally and the next thing that I got was another drink related thing it was this really cool water bottle um, I've been needing another water bottle and I wanted one that was not like a camelback or a uh, contigo water bottle because you can't clean those and I've tried and there's like plastic I know there's like the plastic like a nipple part that you can take off like the nib and then you can replace those and you can clean inside of those kind of but mine always get like moldy and gross and then I throw them away and then I, repl I bought like a whole new like refresher pack of like the nibs like the part that you suck on and um like I've used those and then they get dirty and I just use water in my bottles and occasionally I use pre-workout, but then I rinse it out like immediately. And then I bought new straws that go inside the bottle and they get moldy, so I just replace those, no big deal. But inside the actual like cap piece, there's rubber inside there between where you suck out of and between where the straw is. There's like rubber in there that insulates it and, and it creates like a seal so that you can suck water out of your bottle. And that part is disgusting in all of my water bottles. I cannot get it clean. I've tried boiling them. I've tried, like you can't take that plastic out. So anyway, my point is I stopped buying those kinds of water bottles and I wanted to get one that was like super easy to clean. So this one was $10, but it was actually less than that. You can't really tell, but on the back there's like scratches, like a few like little scratches. So I got it for like 15% off. Um, and you can unscrew this part. So this is like really easy to clean. And then you screw this back on. And then this right here is just like a cork. So it's so easy to clean and I'm like a clean freak about water bottles. I don't want anything in my water, period, whatsoever. So I just thought that was really nice. And this brand, I think it's Aladdin. No, Ello. E-L-L-O is the brand. I've never heard of it before, but I thought it was really nice and it's like aesthetically pleasing. So I got a water bottle. Next two things that I got from Target are totally random and it's for my brother and for my cousin. My brother's birthday was the 21st and my cousin's... I think it was the 29th maybe I'm pretty sure I'm not 100% positive but I think it was the 29th um so I got this one for my brother <laughs> um and I always get him like the most random cards like I remember for like his 21st birthday I got him like a happy birthday card for a two-year-old girl and it said happy second birthday and or like birthday number two and then I put like a one after it for 21 and it was like a little girly card and so I got him this one because I always get him like funny cards and this one says um 
wearable tiara and it says birthday princess with a little feather boa tiara so I got that for him thought it was hilarious <laughs> and then this one is for my cousin um, and she is the same age as my brother and it's just really pretty and it says enjoy your day you deserve every happy moment that comes your way happy birthday and it's just really pretty and there were some that were like really funny but this one was just so pretty I couldn't help but get this one for her okay so the last two things from Target one of them was this beanie and it was on clearance for five dollars and it was originally like 15 or something um but I really like it but yeah I just I really like it <laughs> I just think it's really cute and I thought it would be super cute for winter and it's really cold here and I haven't been wearing any beanies um oh wow there's like lots of pairs and things that are going all kinds of directions right now um but yeah like how cool is this this is so cute and it was originally 15 and it was all clearance for like five bucks so I think it's super cute next thing is this shirt and I paid full price for this I hate paying full price <laughs> for anything but I just really liked the pattern it's a half button uh, full length sleeve flannel kind of shirt and it has like the little white pin dots on it you can barely see it but I thought it was really cute and I thought it looked nice with this and like a vest or something like that um, so yeah I got that and this was $22 and that's a lot of money for a shirt I usually don't spend that much money on uh, clothes like that but I just really really liked it all right so I actually bought that Target stuff after I went to Old Navy and so I'm probably gonna return this shirt because I like the other one better but I'm not sure um, but I got this shirt from Old Navy and it's a full button um, flannel and I don't know I see I really like the pattern on this one I just don't know I just don't know if I'm going to keep this one. I can't tell if I like this one or this one more. I don't know. I think they're different enough where I could wear either one of them because this one's definitely more like, this could be like fall and this one's like definitely winter and this one's a half button and this one's like a full button. So I don't know. This was also kind of frustrating and it kind of pisses me off. I don't know why it makes me so mad, but like this shirt was $23. Okay. This was in the clearance section, and here, I'll show you the next thing, too, because the other thing was in the clearance section, too, and so were these, and I just got these athletic pants, which are actually really good looking on, and they're just full-length athletic pants, um, and these are regularly $29, and they're on sale for $17, but they have, like, the orange clearance tag, so normally when it says $17 on the orange tag, you get to the register, and it's, like, an extra 50% off of that, like, Every time I go to Old Navy, it's like less than whatever the orange tag is. And I got to the register and this was still 17 and this was still 22 or however much it is. And I was kind of pissed about that because how is something still like $20 when it's on clearance? I don't get it, but whatever. Like that's a lot of money and I was expecting them to both be like half of what they were. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to return those or not. And then the last thing that I got. Okay. So I got this shirt, it's inside out, plain white shirt with like a half button, um, it's just a long sleeve shirt, it was $5 and it was a men's shirt. So the last thing that I got were these two pairs of socks. And <laughs> this one is like a white with different colored speckles on it, and then this one is like a soft robin's egg blue with different colored speckles on it and they're regularly two dollars they ended up being like a dollar forty so they were thirty percent off um so yeah definitely worth it socks are cheap and i thought they were cute they might be cute to earth my burks i bought way too much <laughs> i should not have spent that much money um but i did and it was worth it it's like I said to one of my friends, it's retail therapy. It's nice to just go and kind of shop around and spend some money and spend like five hours <laughs> just walking around some stores. Um, but yeah, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Bye!